sweetness in our life. Or in our coffee. It depends on who you ask. Our journey starts on March 17, 1806. Yes, this was the day Sugar was reborn. Meet the world's genius, Norbert. Born in New Orleans, in. Yes, you guessed it. March 17th, 1806. His mother was Constance Vivon, and he was the first of six beautiful children. As a child, he showed a great interest in the world of engineering, and was sent to an early private school in France. At 14 years old, and still living in France, the young man was enlisted at at Colson where he would study physics, mechanics, and engineering. Ten years later, in 1830, he graduated from at Colson and became the youngest teacher ever at the school, where he taught functional mechanics. He also became an expert on steam engines, and published multiple high-quality papers about the use of steam to work machines. Among his publications was a theory of the multi-effect evaporator, which is an apparatus for efficiently using the heat from steam to evaporate water. This is some genius stuff that we will talk about in another video. His interest in engineering at an early age, was really an interest in sugar processing. The young genius knew that, the process at the time known as, Spanish train, was a slow, expensive, an inefficient way to produce sugar. So, he went to work in his lab to come up with a better alternative. He came up with, the multiple effect vacuum evaporator. But he needed to make a practical one, to put his invention to the test. With the help of his white teacher, the young inventor started working on building a prototype. But the project was quickly shut down after the death of the teacher. Following this failure, Norbert focused on land speculation, which he made an enormous fortune, but lost it through the bank failure of the 1837 financial crisis. Following this downturn, he went back into his attempt at building a practical evaporator by approaching Andrew Durnford, a wealthy man, and owner of 1,600 acres along the Mississippi River, with an offer of $50,000, for the use of his plantation. But Andrew did not want to give another man control of his people. He then made a second offer of putting up a sugar house at his own expense, and give up some of the sugar to Andrew. But they couldn't come to an agreement. 